Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 10th of May 1941, the deputy Führer of the German Nazi Party, Rudolf Hess, flew from Germany to Scotland on a mission to strike a peace deal with the British government. In preparation for his mission, Hess had learned how to fly a two-seater Messerschmitt Bf 110 under the guidance of Wilhelm Storr, the chief test pilot at Messerschmitt. On the 10th of May 1941, he took off in his specially adapted plane from an airfield near to the Messerschmitt factory. Travelling solo and reportedly navigating by spotting landmarks on the ground, he reached the northeast coast of England at around 9pm. Continuing in the air for another two hours, Hess parachuted out of his plane a total of six hours after departing Germany. He landed 12 miles away from his intended destination of Dungavel House, the home of the aviator Douglas Douglas Hamilton, the Duke of Hamilton, with whom he hoped to open peace negotiations. Hess's arrival in Britain was not met with the enthusiasm he had hoped. He was discovered by a ploughman working in a nearby field and soon found himself in custody. Other than a couple of close confidants, nobody, apparently not even Hitler himself, knew what Hess had planned. On finding out about Hess's actions, Hitler is said to have taken the mission as a personal betrayal. He apparently signed a secret order that Hess should be shot on sight if he ever returned. Hess was held in Britain until the end of the war, after which he was found guilty of crimes against peace at the Nuremberg War Trials. He was sentenced to life imprisonment at Spandau Prison in Berlin. When he died, after committing suicide in 1987, he had been the prison's only inmate for 21 years. (laughs) 